Sorry, I just had to unplug the phone. Let's pretend nobody's home and enjoy sweet Sunday kind of love. How often do I start with a joke from the MIU album? Someday, we'll do a whole video devoted to this record. But one thing I wanted to show about this record was if you look very carefully there, you can see it has a promotional stamp on it. Reading, promotional copy, not for sale. You can find lots of demonstration and promotional Beach Boys things floating around, and I'm sure many of you have such things in your collection. Here's a Lady Linda single with the demonstration not for sale stamp on it. Very interesting. Still has the regular B-side though, full sale. Here's one on the Rock and Roll to the Rescue 12-inch single. Check out my video, One Foot of Fun Fun Fun, for more info on 12-inch singles. And this one's actually kind of fading away, so you probably can't read it too well. And something even weirder yet, the 12-inch single for Get you Back, where it's stamped on the record itself. So promotional stuff, pretty cool. It's actually on the back as well. Pretty cool stuff. But promotional material isn't the only way to find something exclusive in the Beach Boys catalog. Indeed, some companies, some organizations released exclusive Beach Boys material at various points. The most famous probably being 2006's Songs from Here and Back from Hallmark. If you bought so many greeting cards, you could get this at a reduced price. I'm assuming it was sold at the regular price as well. Pretty neat. We'll do a video on this someday. This has a lot of exclusive material on it. Live tracks and unused studio tracks. It's actually a really cool CD. I bought this many years later and not at Hallmark. But I wanted to look at some other weirdo exclusive releases that have kind of slipped through the cracks. And so I thought today, why don't we look at, from 2001, from Starbucks, because it's Beach Boy Summer, we need a summer title. Summer Crush, Songs We Love to Love. A little compilation here of Beach Boys tracks, but not necessarily ones that you would immediately think of. It has a very cool gatefold that opens out. The liner notes are in this booklet. The booklet is glued in. The glue's coming undone a little bit on mine. Here's the really cool white, green, and orange CD. Actually, let's flip it over for you. See some photos of the guys there. In front. Alright, so this was released in 2001. I've seen a few uh, websites that listed as 2004 or 2006, but as far as I know, it's 2001 because that's what the copyright dates say. You can see there we have I Can Hear Music, Don't Worry Baby, Sail On Sailor, God Only Knows, Surf's Up, Wouldn't It Be Nice. Friends, add some music to your day. Sloop John B, Cool Cool Water, Disney Girls, Good Vibrations, Caroline No, and Do It Again. So we have a few big hits on there, like Good Vibrations and whatnot. And we have some more obscure tracks, some early 70s stuff, and also Cool Cool Water, which I think is a very interesting inclusion there. And this uses the one that's like the most common version you can find. The liner notes, like I said, are in the little glued-in booklet. They are pretty basic overall. They go in chronological order talking about each song. There's a little segment on the history of the group at the beginning, but that segment, uh, nothing that fans aren't already going to know. It's pretty basic stuff. And they go song by song, mentioning that some of these weren't really hits or whatnot, but they're interesting curios that a fan can come to like. And they talk about the Beach Boys didn't always top the charts didn't always have successes, they had their share of failures, excuse me, but they, uh, they did a good job in how our world is a better place due to their music, which I agree with. Very interesting little set there. I'm not sure exactly how this was marketed. Uh, presumably you bought it at Starbucks, but I don't know if you had to buy drinks and then, you know, like save up for it or if you could just purchase it outright. There are a lot of promotional CDs and tapes from this era. Uh, Steve Lewis of the Beach Boys Basement has a whole video going into different, uh, you know, companies that had exclusive CDs or CD compilations. But this one I thought was appropriate because it has summer in the title. I thought it was just kind of a neat release that has never really uh, 
found a big following. I found this for a couple bucks secondhand at my local used media place. I thought that was pretty neat. That's one, but today's a little summer double feature for you. There are lots of cheapo, widely released Beach Boys compilations. Like here's the best of, the 10 best series there. You know, pretty basic. Not a lot of songs on there that are going to dazzle you. There's the Salvation Army sticker on it still. And, uh, you know, I don't buy a lot of those kind of cheapo compilations that maybe someone would just want, oh, if you wanted a few songs, here's a one I had signed by Bruce Johnston. I bought this $5 CD just so he could sign it, that kind of thing. You know, just little, little doodads. Walmart, though, uh, carries the cheapo CDs, but they've also carried their own exclusive Beach Boys material. Someday we'll do a video on the 2011 Zine Pack, which actually sold relatively well and charted even for being a Walmart exclusive. Uh, pretty nifty though, little booklet, some postcards, and perhaps most notably the 2012 remix of Do It Again, which is fantastic, probably my favorite version of the song. Pretty cool stuff. But I want to talk about something different from Walmart today. This was from 2019. It was their exclusive beach ball record. You might say, that doesn't look like a beach ball. That's because it didn't come in a protective sleeve. It's just the record in the uh, regular outer sleeve. So I put it in one. Here's just the empty sleeve there, the empty cardboard sleeve. And then here's the back. This is from Icon. Icon has released lots of like compilations and collections, kind of a budget line. Did a lot of country music stars. There's a John Lennon one. And there's the set list for you. A good picture from the Surf and Safari sessions from Paradise Cove. Side A, California Girls. I Get Around, Be True to Your School, Good Vibrations, Help Me Rhonda, and Fun, Fun, Fun. Side B, God Only Knows, Wouldn't It Be Nice, Surfer Girl, Little Deuce Coop, and Dance, Dance, Dance. So let's look at this actual beach ball record. I don't know if Icon released this in non-beach ball form. I know they do a lot of CDs, I don't really know their stance on vinyl, but at Walmart you get the cool beach ball record design. I had to read this, uh, the titles off the back of the sleeve, because if you notice there's no label on this, but it is a really cool looking record. It looks really neat on your turntable too. Uh, get some different colors going there. You can see there's a little bit of writing on the blue part there. It simply says a Capitol Records release, copyright 2013 slash 2019, and then Capitol Records and some little bits of legal info there. But all told, pretty cool for a very basic release with songs that are, are you know, conventionally popular. Uh, it's nice to have it on here. So this originally came right in the cardboard. I, of course, put it in a protector sleeve there. The first couple times I played it, it skipped a lot, so I don't know if there was this gunk on it or what, but something different there uh, from everyone's favorite big box retailer, Walmart. So someday we'll get to some of their other exclusives. When we get closer to the 50th anniversary in the Greatest Hits retrospective, we'll talk more about this stuff. Do you have any interesting, you know, uh, business or store exclusives or promotional exclusives in your collection? Please do comment below. I hope to see you next time when we get into graduation day uh, to honor all of our graduating high schoolers and college kids. And we'll see you then. Have a good one.